I often get asked by my clients, what is the best dam type for my particular dam site? So for a particular dam site, there probably is a best construction method, but the thing is it's influenced by the unique characteristics of that site. So without knowing all of the unique characteristics of that site, you cannot answer that question. Strength of foundation can be a big issue. Depth of weathering of the foundation can be a big issue. Rainfall can be a big issue. Flood hydrology of the river coming up very high and having high uh, river flows can be an issue with the actual dam type that you select. And it's important to evaluate those different elements rather than saying this is the best dam type, this is the best dam type. It's better to evaluate those and work out for your unique site what is the best dam type. The issue with high rainfall areas is the ability to compact materials and the way the materials behave in those high rainfall conditions. The net result of that is often a clay core is not usually the best option for a high rainfall area and often a free draining rock fill is a better choice for a high rainfall area. So the choice then is what is the impermeable membrane that we use for that, that rock fill dam and that could be a concrete face rock fill or it could be an asphalt core rock fill. But the key point is that it should be a rock fill dam without a clay core. In the past we've been involved in a number of roller compacted concrete dams and once again these RCC dams that we have been involved in are different and unique in themselves. They are not all the same, they have got design decisions that were made because of the unique characteristics of that particular dam site, the unique characteristics of the material properties available at those sites. One of these particular ones, we had an issue with the quality of the aggregate, and the aggregate that was going to be used had an issue with the durability for exposed faces. So the net result of that was we used that aggregate for the main core of the RCC, but we put a conventional concrete facing on the external face to obtain the durability that was needed. So there was a unique decision that was made for that particular dam that was impacted by the materials that were available at that particular site. 